Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. Are reinvested capital gains taxable? Understanding capital gains is crucial. Capital gains occur when you sell an asset for more than its purchase price. The difference between the sale price and the purchase price is the gain. The IRS categorizes capital gains into short-term and long-term. Short-term gains apply to assets held for one year or less. Long-term gains apply to assets held for more than one year. And taxation on capital gains depends on the holding period. Short-term gains are taxed at ordinary income tax rates. Long-term gains benefit from reduced tax rates. Reinvesting capital gains is a common practice. Investors often reinvest gains to purchase more assets. However, the act of reinvesting does not inherently change the tax obligation. The IRS requires you to report capital gains in the year they are realized. This means that even if you reinvest the gains, they are still taxable in the year of the sale. There are specific exceptions to this rule. For example, certain retirement accounts like IRAs and 401 Ks offer tax deferral. Gains within these accounts are not taxed until withdrawal. Another exception includes Section 1031 exchanges for real estate. This allows deferral of capital gains taxes if the proceeds are reinvested in similar property within a specified period. Understanding these rules helps in planning your investments. Always consult a tax professional for personalized advice. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning into our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.